I didn't think Fairport was going to last, um, you know, to the end of the summer. This band just has carried on and on and on. When we took the name in May 67, I had no uh, expectation of it being anything more than just a passing phase in my life. Fairport has survived despite the music industry, not because of it. Fairport exists now because the same reason it did in the early days. We all like getting in the van and going off and doing the show. The idea was that they would vote, the fans would vote for their favourite items from the quite distant past, uh, classic Fairport repertoire, that we would re-record uh, studio versions of with the current lineup. Three days to go in and uh, make this album and record, I don't know, was it 15 tracks? Or mm -hmm. um, and uh, within two days we'd done it. All playing at the same time recording a backing track with a guide vocal and then overdubbing bits and pieces on top. Uh, that uh, chemistry that happens when people are together, playing together, uh, you, can't, you can't reproduce that. But the versions are, 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 are different enough um, to have a, some new spark to them, to find a new, a new angle or breathe some new life into these, these uh, great old songs. You know. Every year we have a, an anniversary with a five or a zero on the end of it. We tend to try and get back as many of the old lags as we can and incorporate them in one way or another. Obviously Dave Swarbrick and Jerry Donahue and Dave Mattox, Martin Alcock. Richard Thompson OBE, excuse me. Yeah. He'll be there and he'll, you know, gives him, he, <laughs> loves, he likes to play with us, you know, he wouldn't want to do it all the time. That's why he left in 1970, but as he says himself, I was, you know, I was in Fairport for three years and I've been playing with them ever since. It feels like a real meeting of friends, it feels like a real family thing. And um, we love those people, they're very, you know, what, it's, it's such a privilege, isn't it, in this world which is like spiralling into insanity every time you switch on the news, you know. How lucky are we to be able to go round and play music to people, you know, and, and my God, the world needs tunes more than it ever needed tunes. You know? It's time to wrap up. Let's have a pint.